What's going on everybody? Matthew Drummond here just checking in with one of my projects that I've been doing. Right here is a solar power generator that I created. It runs off of 1500 watts and it uses my battery pack. And if you've kept up with my uh, YouTube channel, you'll know the 18650 battery pack I'm talking about. I'll show a reference into it later on into the video. So that way if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go back and cross-reference it to educate yourself on how to build the battery pack. So, right now it's currently running the TV, which I'm going to be displaying all the parts which are inside of it. This right here that I'm showing you is the audio board, which runs all of the speakers. I made it for the job site. That was my main purpose. I was tired of uh, using gas generators, tons of noise, so then I created this. But, as you can tell, right here is the power line, which runs into the TV. Right here. Alright, and that's coming out. It's been running the TV for about a half hour, 45 minutes now, simply because I had to open up all the tabs, get them situated so that way I can show you everything that's in it. So this is the audio board. I currently have the audio board right here. This is the audio board. Okay, so I have uh, two RCA jacks, an auxiliary port, and uh, this right here is my radio for... Uh, It's on a 97X, we're in Florida right now, but anyways, it's a 2.1 channel, and uh, it's 2x18, and it's got an extra port for a subwoofer. Subwoofer port is right here, I got it extending out of the back right here, and so anyhow, let's continue on. Alright, so that right there is the audio board. This right here are the USB charge ports. Okay, and these are 3 amps. Instead of 2.1 or 1 amp, I went ahead and got the 3 amps. And those are right here 1 and 2. Two DC switches, one for the 12 volt side, one for the inverter. Okay, and then if we come back here. This right here is the AC charge board. Okay, let me wait for it to focus in. Um, that is the AC charge board. Okay. And that is what is connected into this right here. Alright, and it's down here at the bottom. Alright. Uh, I hate these smart TVs sometimes. Alright, now that is the DC side. That's for the solar panels to go into. Alright, and this is the mounting DC plug socket that I have connected right here. Okay, now that, this AC, and this DC jack go right into that. MPP charger right inside there, which is right here. Okay, and I'll show you that MPP charger here in a second. And that is right there. So that's the solar MPP charger. It is a boost converter. Alright, so it'll take anything underneath the 24 volts and boost it up to where it needs to be. And it'll charge this pack up to about 25.3 volts max with the charge chip that I have in it. Alright, and now this is my lithium ion tester meter voltage current capacity for the 18650s. It is currently right there showing my capacity of the batteries. It's at 23 volts maintaining. Um, and I'm only pulling 0.7 amps out because this is only connected to the USB side. It's not connected to the inverter side simply because if I hooked up to the inverter side, um, this only pulls for 10 amps, and I can pull more out of the batteries than 10 amps. So all this regulates is my 12 volt power, which is coming from my boost boost buck converter, which is right here. Okay, so the main power that's coming in from the batteries um, comes down, goes right into the inverter, 
and then it comes right into this boost buck converter which boosts, uh, bucks the 24 volts down to 12 volts which comes up and runs all my 12 volt power okay so then we get into here and this right here is the temperature gauge this is so that way if the internal temperature the ambient temperature gets too high it'll kick on this fan and this fan okay so I have one fan pushing the air out and this fan is sucking the air in which is why I have right here a screen that's on it because when I used to bring it to the job site it would fill it with dust and uh, right there's that that is my ambient temperature sensor and so when it gets up above um, 35 degrees I have to put the fans kick on alright next is everybody knows this but I have to show it that is the 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter okay and I have it at a 24 volt 1500 watts okay and the only thing is is I have gutted it I took the whole case out all this is the internal parts which come up to the plugs right here and here's my kill switch All right. and now for the reference this is the video of which I was talking about and sorry let's get out of here this is the video of which I was speaking about alright so this will give you an idea of the battery pack that is inside of this unit right here alright and that is my 18650 and solar update video okay and what else do we have alright and these are the fans which are inside of it okay those fans are right here and right here these speakers I got out of like little speaker boxes that I had these are out of a PC okay and um, all this is, is your um, bass treble and, and volume I have a Bluetooth connector here this unit here has a Bluetooth um, connectivity device in it but um, it doesn't work that well which is why I bought this one okay and uh, anyhow but anyhow I'll make another video here uh, tomorrow um, answering any questions that anybody might have but uh, anyways as you can tell this has been running off of it the whole time we've been watching the video and it runs quite a bit for quite a while I can take it to the job site run the wet saw um, and uh, it runs all day uh, mud mixer uh, for the tile so on and so forth but uh, I'll show you guys the uh, that is the battery uh, BMS which is down inside of there which is what's making sure that this battery stays maintained okay so that is one of my updates in regards to my portable solar generator um, please like comment subscribe if you haven't Please ask any questions. Sorry, I've been off for quite a while. Um, as you can tell, I've just had random projects going on. But, like, this is my new charge board, for instance. Um, this is the charge board that I use now. And, uh, anyhow, I have all my capacities on there. There we go. But, this way I can see all my voltages for each battery as it charges. Um, that's that. And my ultimate goal is I'm getting ready to build me some power walls. So I need uh, 1,400 batteries, which, uh, well, here, I'll show you guys that this is actually being ran by this. So anyhow, once I do this, you know, no more TV. 
but uh, and it's a whole mobile unit which we can take anywhere we want as you can tell but we can go out here set it down well, that's it it's a whole mobile power unit and uh, as you can tell I'm starting my power wall I need 1400 of these so I've got quite a few to go through I mean there's about 800 right there so far all right this one right here is a small unit that I've just done so this is a small battery pack um, it's currently this is a 12 volt model this is a boost buck converter because this battery pack right here can go down to 7 volts 7.5 volts so therefore I use this boost buck converter to maintain this 12 volts okay that 12 volts also has these two once again those USBs this right here is a um, 2.1 channel but this one runs on 12 volts the one that I showed you on my inverter runs off of a 24 volt AC and then this I went ahead and got me that alright so now I got me uh, all my refrigerators and everything are off the grid um, that right there is uh, what I've made so far this month it's a rainy day so uh, nothing's currently running that well right at the moment um, that is what I've made as well I've got me some lifelines uh, got the generator panels up um, with all my uh, fuses in my other um, fuses as well but just giving you guys an update on what I've been up to. So show me any questions that you have. God bless. And uh, oh yeah, here's a 1500 watt dryer. All right. Let me just so y'all can see. I don't have a, a watt meter to show y'all. Sorry, but uh. You can see that it is actually pulling the voltage down simply because it is a massive load and then once I release watch once I release the voltage comes right but it's on low right now but so it's pulling about 800 watts right at the moment shut it off and once I release it the voltage will climb right back up to where it was. It's just because it has such a super large load, large load on that fairly small battery pack. But uh, that battery pack is uh, 60 amp hours at 24 Four, volts. Three, two, so uh, one. I'll give you guys a better video update on it at the job site maybe tomorrow when I get there showing you what it can run and uh, with it blaring its music. So uh, once again have a good day everyone. Adios.